Welcome to another week of Word of Truth and Gospel videos with your host, Evangelist Zena Renee Washington. I want to say good evening to everybody. I want to say that I'm happy to be back live with you once more and again. I want to just thank everyone, first of all, who called, text, hit me up on Facebook, or uh, came by during the time of the passing of my husband, the late Valentine Washington Sr. And I just appreciate everything you did. Everything you did. So many people did so much. So many people sent cars. So many people sent flowers. Some people, because it was going into my pre-anniversary celebration as well, some people sent finances. Other people sent finances because they want to make sure that the radio and the television continue to go forth, knowing that now that my husband is gone, that um, I have to have funds for the ministry as well as now I have to be the provider for my home and my overhead, something that I never had to worry about because my husband took care of it all. He was such a wonderful man. He was a wonderful husband. I didn't have a palace. I didn't have the most expensive stuff in the world, but I had everything that I needed as a wife. Is for us taking care of the overhead of our home, making sure as much as possible. If a vehicle broke and then stay broke long, I was going to either have it fixed or I was going to have another one. So I thank God for my wonderful husband. Also, you all, some of you all know that know me. I'm not one for the kitchen. And he did spoil me riding. He cooked as well as worked. And he made sure that we ate, me and my son and my daughter, before she was an adult. And then after that, he made sure that me and my son had something to eat each and every day when he came home. So we thank God for that part of my life, that chapter of my life. But all my friends who know me, they already know they have an extra plate for me now. <laughs> you already know. You already know what's happening. My baby girl already know. Mama is a big baby now. So she cooks and she have kids. So whenever she's not on the go doing what she do in outreach ministry and their occupation that they have, which is um, pretty much self-employed now, and they have to travel a lot. So, she knows that she got to take care of mom. She already know that. And she don't mind doing it because she know mom is going to minister and take care of God's people. So, it's not a problem with her. And that's another reason why my husband didn't mind taking care of me. Because he know I was trying to take care of God's business. So, I thank God for that. But enough of that about me and my husband and my family. Let's get down to you. You, I got to recognize some of you who have kept me going for many years and continue to keep me going in ministry. Without you, without God landing on your heart or landing on somebody's heart to help me, I could not do it. So I praise God for Lord landing on your heart to help me keep it going. And I need you now to help me keep it going. Betty Bailey, Evelyn, Lord Marie Lord, um, Geneva Robertson. Cynthia Brother in Showers, Willie Davis, Pernell Garden, Jake Pace, Vivian Green, Jonelle Bridges, James Amar, Mary Brown Robertson, Felton P.J. Jackson, uh -huh. trying to get them all right and make sure uh, I'm calling the names right. George Jackson Walters, and also there are others, there are others, but these are the ones we have collected from here recently. Now, we do need you to, the ones who are going to do it regularly and going to do it monthly, we need it each month, and we need you to give us a designated time to come pick it up from you. Elder Raymond Carver, thanking him, uh, Reverend Herman Baloney, thanking him, and all those others, you know who you are. When we get the donations start rolling again, we'll be able to call your name. But we want to call everybody's name. We want to acknowledge you. We want to let people know that this is not our ministry. This is 
this is not my ministry. This is our ministry. And so we need your help. Now there's a business side of the television. There's a business side of the radio. And I need to get that business side working. So all those who have advertising, because that's my employment. That advertising, that advertising is my employment. So we got to get that advertising working. I was procrastinating and slow for on it, but now I can't be slow for on it. So businesses, churches, uh, people having concerts and stuff like that, there are fees. There are fees for TV advertising as well as radio advertising. Yes, I am basically self-employed with promotions. That is my title. Promotions. I'm self-employed with promotions. Promotions include pronouncing your events for your church functions, or pronouncing your events for your upcoming events for your organization, for your promotions or what have you. Hey, I tell you what, I specialize in that and I can get the job done. Self-employed for video and for all occasions. Taking pictures for all occasions. Don't let the small camera and the small video camera fool you. We still qualify to give you the best results in video and, and picture taking. That's part of our occupation. MCN, special occasion, there's a fee. We specialize in it. We are available. Give us a call. We're ready to do it for you. But as far as just keeping this station, this broadcast on, as far as just keeping the radio on, we need sponsorship from individuals. We need people who will donate, people who will partner. That's what we need for that because that's about keeping it afloat for God's benefit. So we need donators for that. So be a seed sower for that. But on the flip side, on the other side, the business side, that's what I make my living on. So we need you to know that there are fees. Don't send me no announcements in the mail. Don't put no flyer in my hand talking about announcements unless you ask me how much it costs. So that's what I'm getting at with that. All announcements have a price on it because that's the business part of what I do. All right. Y'all need to know that. That's the business part of what I do. All right, then. Well, y'all heard some of our regular sponsors, and we're going to come back with some of our business sponsors who help to keep us afloat as well. But now we're going to go to some music.
Radio, that's right, online radio station, playing great gospel music 24-7. You can download the TuneIn app, and you can type in that station, or you can go to www.pggmradio.com, and when you get to that website, click Listen Live. I tell you, you don't want to miss. We have such people as Michael Watkins doing a show. We have such people as Elder George Cohen doing a show. We also have Reverend Mark Sanders doing a show. And Leon Franklin doing a show. That's right, 24 hours a day. The all-new PGGM radio station.
young people, y'all can join us if you can. So watch me. Y'all got to help me. Come on, everybody put your hands together like this. That's it. We're going to have a good old church. Get out here. Look good time. Look good time, please. Come on. Bye. 
something on your mind. of music all right all right well we want to let you know that one of our uh, broadcasters our radio station uh, a part of uh, our business as well as our outreach ministry is PGGM radio online 24 7 station and you have heard the commercial you can download our app PGGM radio on your cell phone on your tablets no pads all right, and you also need to download TuneIn because when our app is not acting like it's supposed to or when it may cut off on you, but then you can also go to TuneIn Radio on your telephone, your notepad, or what have you, and you can also listen to us there, okay? And that's PGGM Radio. And if you're downloading it, all capital letters for PGGM, for the radio, I put a space, and for the radio, a capital R, and lowercase letters, A-D-I-O. I tell you, if you like the best in old school gospel and quartet especially, you're missing it if you have not downloaded that app or that station. And also, again, we need your support as businesses, as promoters, to keep it afloat and make sure your artists are being promoted and played on a regular basis. Groups, if you're out there, we have a fee for you, too, where we can announce how to get in touch with you, announce all your upcoming engagements and stuff like that. So you need to give me a call for that. You need to give me a call for that because um, advertising means everything. And we're here to do it for you, so there's no excuse for you not getting it done. Record companies, the same difference. Record companies, you have artists that nobody know about. Nobody will never know about. Unless you invest in yourself and you give a promotions person. My business, my promotions business is CLTT-0W Productions. And the website is www.CLTT-0W uh, Productions.com. And you can come over there and find out that, hey, I am there for promotions purposes to make sure you get all the exposure you need. 
But it's on you. It's on you. All right, all right, all right. And what can I say? 23 years in outreach ministry. 23 years actually lawfully married on April the 9th to my husband. Lived with him a whole year before that. 24 years actually in the house together. On and off dating. In and out of our relationship for 27 years since the year of 1986. Matter of fact, around October. October is when it was official. I dated on and off in 86. And I praise God for that wonderful man again. I can't say enough about him. Was every day Sunday? Did we have a perfect uh, relationship? No, we didn't. We argued. <laughs> we talked. We fussed. We disagreed. But we loved each other. And Lord knows he loved his little girl. Yes, he did. And I thank God for putting him in my life. All right, all right. Y'all going to probably hear about my husband a lot because he was just that good. He was just that wonderful. He was. And God blessed him to get saved and full of the Holy Spirit and sold into ministry, listened to the Bible, loved God. Oh, yeah, God gave me somebody, y'all, and I appreciate it. Um, May we get gospel fast, founded by yours truly. That's right. Founded by yours truly. And we decided to do the anniversary of the May Gospel Fest together each year. So we will celebrate our 23rd year anniversary for uh, the CLTT and also Evangelist DJ Renee Outreach Ministries on Friday, May the 2nd, Saturday, May 3rd, Sunday, May 4th, 2014. On Friday, it will be May 2nd at 7 o'clock p.m. at the Little Zion Baptist Church. 4821 Earhart Boulevard, New Orleans, Louisiana, 70125. Call all your family that like great gospel music in New Orleans and tell them to be a part of that event. Also in Hammond, it will be Saturday, May the 3rd, 2014, 7 o'clock p.m. at the Samuel C. Brown Fellowship Hall on the Mount Vernon campus, the Dr. LaVanna Brown Drive. And in case they don't have it in the system, that's also... 1005 Paralou Street, Hammond, Louisiana, 70402. Featuring for the very first time in Hammond. Y'all say y'all like that song that's playing behind James Ty Service? Y'all say y'all like the song that we play on radio, Worthy Is He? Y'all say y'all like the song, my favorite song, about Is the Lord Satisfied With Me? That we play on PGGM Radio as well as WFBR. Also, y'all say y'all like the other one. Jesus will fix it. Well, we are bringing, if the Lord says yes, we are bringing the Alabama spirituals all the way out of Alexandria, Alabama for two nights of concert. May 2nd in New Orleans for the very first time and in Hammond on May 3rd for the very first time. And we also will climax that 23rd year anniversary celebration on Sunday, May the 4th. Of course, all groups have been invited, but we'll let you know in detail some of the groups that will appear on that program on that Sunday. It will be an open door program, and it will be at a Faith Temple, a Greater Faith Temple on Phoenix Square on that Sunday to close out the anniversary celebration of yours truly and the Christian leaders of today and tomorrow. Um, also, we get ready to have some fundraisers because uh, we get ready to have a, a headquarters in, if the Lord says yes for Christian leaders of the day and tomorrow as well as uh, some other things. And we'll let you know more about that in the future. But we will be doing some fundraisers and we're asking that you will support the fundraisers. We're asking that you will donate and sow seed that we may be able to do things that God has put there for us to be able to do in this coming future as long as we live and be in good health and able to do it. Uh, early bird tickets for those who know you're going to be or know you want to be at that program on May 2nd and May 3rd. The early bird tickets until April the 13th, not a day after. Not a day after. The early bird tickets are $13, I mean $10 until April the 13th. If you want that early bird ticket, 
And matter of fact, I want you to get that early bird ticket. Matter of fact, even if you're not going to come to the event, I need 150 people to get a $10 ticket by April the 13th. Do me that favor. Uh, do me that favor. You have not because you asked not. I'm asking everybody that's viewing this broadcast right now. At least 150 of you all, I need you to get a $10 ticket. 150 people, I need you to get a $10 ticket. You can use it at each program. It doesn't matter. But I have 150 tickets that I'm going to sell as early bird tickets at $10. And I'm not going to sell them after the 13th. I'm selling them until the 13th of April. And I need you to get one. If you just want to make it a donation, you want me to give the ticket to somebody else, I can do that too. But I need $10 from everybody I don't care if you out of state, where you at, in state, in town, whatever you at. If you're viewing this and you're hearing me, please, ma'am, please, sir, get me $10. You can give me a call if you're in the area, 985-634-4580. I can come pick it up. Or either you can mail it to Renee, R-E-N-E-E, -E, Washington, or Zena, Z-I-N-A, initial R, Washington, Post Office Box 845 Hammond, Louisiana, 70404. Y'all do this for me. I'm asking, and all you can do is say yay or nay, reject or don't reject. All right. Also, the regular tickets, the regular tickets will be $15 in advance after the 13th. After the 13th, tickets are $15. And tickets are $15 up until the 3rd. They are $15 up until the 3rd. And those $15 tickets, you can, um, and that's the until the 3rd before you get to the door. Once you get to the door, it's $20 at the door. Don't make no sense to sell advanced tickets and everybody want to come to the door and get the advanced price. Okay? If you're out of town, you can mail in your money. We ain't going to cheat you. Mail in your money before the event so you can get your ticket. Mail in your money before you can get your ticket. All right. So that's what's going on with that pre-anniversary. And we do want you there. We're not trying to be cocky. We're not trying to be none of that. We're just trying to keep it real. And we want to teach people to do things decent and in order. And also, I told some of you all on the radio that we're asking 50 people. 50 people as far as my voice can be heard. That we might have a great success on the whole weekend of activities. We need a great success. And in order to have a great success, we're asking 50 people. 50 people that can and will. And if you want to make a sacrifice, you can do that too. Because I'm a firm believer that God honors when you take out of something that you really, really don't feel that you're able to do. And if you go that extra mile of the way and you do it. I'm a firm believer that God is going to honor it and that he's going to bless you mightily. I believe that. And to all of you who are not paying tithes and you know you're not paying tithes, pay your tithes and then give extra. Then give an offering. Pay your tithes and give your offering and watch God move. And for all of you all wondering and worried about all this kind of stuff, what the preacher do, what the pastor do, what the church do, what I do or anybody do with the money after you have sold it, leave that alone. That's God's business. And believe me, God will take care of all that kind of stuff. You don't have to worry about it. God will take care of it. But I'm asking 50 people to sow a $100 offering, a $100 seed. Give me a call at 985-634-4580. If you're out of state and you're out of town, you can go to my website, www.cltt-0wproductions.com, and you can donate it through the PayPal, through our website. You can donate it that way, and if you don't like to do it that way, you can mail it in to Zena, Z-I-N-A, R. Washington, or Renee, R-E-N-E-E, -E, Washington, <clears throat> Post Office Box 845. Hammond, Louisiana, 70404. We're asking 50 people. And if you, God prick your heart to do it, don't question it, don't think about it, write it out, put it in the mail, and I know for a fact that God is going to bless you. I believe that. 
Because uh, whether I'm a prophet, whether I'm a preacher, whether I'm a minister, whether I'm just a woman of God, whether I'm a missionary or whatever I am, if I ask you to do it and you do it, you will receive the prophet's award. You will receive whatever reward that I receive for doing what I do in ministry if you be obedient to God, to the Holy Spirit. If the Holy Spirit don't move you, don't worry about it. But if you're the one that's talking and criticizing the Holy Spirit, probably talking to you. And you need to make sure you do it. Especially if you're definitely able, if you're able to do it, definitely you need to be doing it. So as far as my voice can be heard, whoever's watching this, whoever's listening to this, if the Lord prick your heart and your spirit to do it, you do it. I'm asking 50 people. And there's 50 people able to do it. And there's 50 people that can do it. But now, are you going to trust God and do it? And when you send your seed, pray over your seed. Tell the Lord about it. Let the Lord know. Lord, look, I'm doing this in faith because of you. And Lord, because I need you to take care of me. And I believe that only what I do for you is going to last. And if I do it for you, it don't matter what Sister Washington does with it or how she handles it after it's out of my hand. But if I do it for you, God, I know that you're going to look out for me and my children and my family. And I believe he'll do it. And on that note, while we're there, I'm going to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just thank you for being God. I thank you for who you are, God. Lord, I thank you for those 150 people, God, that are going to get those early bird tickets or just going to sow that $10 seed. God, that we will have a great success with this May We Gain Gospel Faith. God, I thank you for those 50 people, God. Those 50 people whose hearts that you're going to touch, whose heart that you're going to pray to send that $100 seed or to call me and ask me to pick it up, God. I know you're going to do it, God. I know you're able, God. I know you can, God. And I'm trusting you to work it out, God. I'm trusting you to do it, God. Oh, God, I'm tr trusting you, God, to open so many doors for the outreach ministry, God. So many doors for the promotions business, God. Oh, God, I know you can do it. I know you're able. But, God, I ask you to help if I have any unbelief, God. I ask you, Lord, to help and strengthen my faith, God. God, I ask you to continue to direct me in your paths, God. God, people that are listening, God, some Somebody is sick, God. Somebody needs you, Lord. Somebody is going through bereavement, God. I ask you to look down on each and every one of God. We know of the Brown family, God. I ask you to look down on the Brown family, God. I'm asking you to pour out a special blessing on my girl, my friend, Brenda Brown Kent, God. Look down on her, God. This is her sister, God. Oh, God, I ask you to look down on my sisters, Nishanda and Shalande, God. Look down on them at this time, God. So many deaths coming in the family, God. I ask you to look down on them. God, I call the, ground, the Brown family, my extended family, God. Look down on them, God. Oh, God, I ask you to look down on my little cousin Shannon and uh, Yolanda and Lacey, God. I ask you to look down on them at this time, God. Uh, grandmother, a mother, a mother-in-law, God. Look down on them, God. God, I ask you to look down on the Jackson family. Sister Audrey Jackson, God, and she's gone on to be with the Lord, God. I ask you to look down on that family, God. God, I ask you to look down on my friend. My girl, Lady B, God, and her daughter, Renee, God, lost that granddaughter, only granddaughter, only child. Oh, God, oh, God, touch that family, God. Strengthen them, God. Oh, God, I know that you, oh, you put us here for a purpose, God. And little Davis, look, her purpose had been served, God. Her purpose had been serving her grandmother's life. Her purpose had been serving her mother's life, God. Oh, God, but shield them, God, and protect them, God, and strengthen them, God, as they have to face such tragedy as this, God. Oh, God, we actually look down on that fiancé, God. Oh, God, help him, God, ease his mind that that accident won't just go over and over in his head, God. Oh, God, don't let him blame himself for not being the driver, God. Oh, God, I ask you, Lord, just to look down on that family, God. I know you will, God. I know you can. I know you're able, God. God, I ask you to continue to look down on me and my two sons and my daughter, God, and what we've been through and what we went through and the things that we got to get accomplished, God. I ask you, Lord, that you would keep your loving arms around us, God, that you would take care of us, God, as you always have. God, you took care of us through 
a husband, a father, and God, but now, God, we got to go on, God, depending and trusting in you, God, totally in you, God, knowing that you were the hand that caused him to be able to do what he did, God. So, God, now, God, we just look straight to you, God, asking you, Lord, that you would open doors, God, that you would mend broken hearts, God, that you would especially look down on those three kids of mine, God, Thou, God, look down on him, God. Heart for him, God, but I know you're able, God. Let him be the wonderful man, even a better man than his father was to his family, God. Let my son wake up and be all that he is to be. And God, we know he have visions, he have hopes, he have dreams, God. We know he's a chip off the old block of both of his parents, God. But God, we're asking you to help him to handle God, his situation, God. Help him to be more humble, God. Help him to let you fix it, God. Let you do it, God. Help us to let you do it and not try to do it ourselves, God. Lord, look down on that daughter, God. Look down on Trawana, God. Oh, I thank you for her, God. I thank you for the anointing and for everything that you have on her life, God. Oh, God, but help her grow up in it, God, and help her be able to manifest it in a mighty way, God. And I'll be careful to give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. God, I ask you to look down on grands. I ask you to look down on all my family. Look down on everybody that's listening to me, God. Oh, God, whatever their problem might be, God, I ask you that you would look down on them, God, that you would strengthen them in your son Jesus' name. Lord, that you would fix it for them, God, that you would mend those broken hearts, God, that you would change those lives that's not fit for the kingdom, God. Even minds, God, those things that are not of you, those things that are not like you, God, those things that you would have me not to allow to manifest in my life, God. I ask you, Lord, that you would be here, God. And I ask you that you would work it out, God. And I ask you, Lord, to help me to be obedient, Lord. And help me to see your way, God. And not rebel, God. And do it my own way, God. I need you, God. I can't make it without you, God. I trust you, God. Oh, God, I thank you for being God. I ask you to continue to look down on all the pastors of this community. Look down on Pastor Dr. Samuel Brown, Pastor Jerry Hannibal, and there are so many others, God. I ask you to look down on them in this community. And Lord, we be careful to give you all the praise and all the glory and all the honor. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. All right, this segment was much too long, but hopefully we'll be able to come back with some more great music and another segment.
let me say this. Go on and talk about me. Sometimes you may even scan a lie my name. But ain't no worry with y'all because.
Jesus is my strength Through the storm and the rain So how can I not believe in God When he washed away all my pain Jesus is my shelter In the time of a storm He is my friend when I'm alone, how, how can I not believe in God? When he died on Calvary, how, how can I not believe in God? When he died to save you and me. For God so loved the world. God is always watching you No matter what you say He is gonna love you anyway See God said all you got to do Is have faith the size of a mustard seed And you see Jesus, I serve a God He will see you through to let you know that my God is real. I serve a God that is able. He is able. He's able to do anything. All you have to do is ask Him. You see, I think about when I had a gun put to my head. I think about how I could have been dead and gone. But I Thank you for all you do, all you're going to do. And keep me in your prayer. And this too shall pass. And God going to work it out. I love y'all.